Hi, I'm Shane on you and my pronouns in drag are he, him, and she, her, out of drag. Uh, a little bit about myself, my favorite color is red or the rainbow. Um, I also absolutely am happiest when I am in drag and I love to dance. I'm Slam de BD. In drag, I use pronouns she, her. Out of drag, I use pronouns he, him. Uh, my favorite color is sparkle. I will always have a little bit of sparkle when I'm in drag. It just brings a huge smile to my face. Uh, I also love dancing. Always a great thing to do. I've done Ukrainian dance for years, years, years. Uh, and I am a teacher by day and drag performer on the weekend, reading stories, bringing some light to everyone's day. First, we'd like to start with a land acknowledgement. And because we are in Calgary, uh, we'd like to acknowledge the Treaty 7 lands. So come and join us. Excellent. Today we acknowledge our Treaty 7 friends where the Blackfoot once met on the Elbows Bend. Soon came the Tsutina from the Beaver Clan and the Stony Nakoda from the Mountain Land. Next came the Métis from Region 3. We are all friends here in Calgary. I think we're ready for a story. My first story today is Red by Michael Hall. But before we even read this story, I want you to take out a big imaginary crayon with your favorite color. Think about that favorite color, and you're going to paint the walls in front of you with your crayon. So take that crayon, color, 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 color the walls, because your parents can't stop you right now with an imaginary crayon. What color did you color the walls? Red. You chose red. Oh, always. Ah, I colored mine pink, just like my hair today. <laughs> they go good together. All right. Yes, I love it. Thank you for that. That was fun. It felt really good. All right, I think we're ready to read. Excellent. And this is a crayon story, as told by me, the pencil. He was red. Look at him. But he wasn't very good at it. Oh dear, says Olive. His teacher thought he needed more practice. Scarlet says, I'll draw a red strawberry, then you draw a red strawberry. You can do this, really. But he couldn't, really. Like this? Oh my, let's try again. His mother thought, that he needed to mix with other colors. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange? Yellow says, a really big one, a really orange one. But they made a big greenish one instead. Yuck, thought Yellow. Oops. That's red. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents' night. Wear this warm red scarf. Nice, it's so you. But it so wasn't. It's a great picture by Goldie and Teal and Purple. Orange, <gasps> look at reds. Oh dear me, says Silver. Everyone seemed to have something to say. Amber says, sometimes I wonder if he's really red at all. <laughs> Don't be silly. It says red on his label. He came that way from the factory. Frankly, I don't think he's very bright, says Fuchsia. Grape says, well, I think he's lazy. Right, he's got to press harder, says Army Green. He really apply himself, Steel Gray thinks. 
Sunshine thinks, give him time, he'll catch on. Of course he will, says Seagreen. But he didn't catch on. Green draws a nice green frog. Black has this black sheep. Brown's made a brown cow. And red has a... Ugh! That ant just didn't turn out. All the art supplies wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. This will help hold you together. The scissors thought his label was too tight. Oh, one snip should do. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now. Oh, that looks like it hurt my life. But even with all of our help and all of his hard work, blue hearts, blue cherries, uh-oh. He just couldn't get the hang of it. Green, yellow, red, oh, oh, stormed off. Or red looks very frustrated. One day, he met a new friend. Will you make a blue ocean for my boat? I can't, I'm red. Will you try? So he did. <gasps> Thank you. It's perfect. You're welcome. It was easy. And he didn't stop there. Blue bells, blue birds, blue jeans, blue berries, even a big blue whale. I'm blue! He was r blue. And everyone was talking. My son is brilliant. Who could have known he was blue? I always say he was blue. It was obvious. His blue ocean really lifted me. All of his work makes me feel happy. His blue strawberries are my favorite. This is brown. He's so intense. I'm going to make a green lizard with him. A really big one. I hear he's working on a huge new project. He's really reaching for the sky. And he really was the end. <laughs> Yay! That, that was, was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Slamda. That was great. Hi, guys. I'm going to read to you one of my favorite books today. Absolutely love this book. It kind of tells my story a little bit. My sister can attest to that one. All right. So the book we're going to read is Jack, not Jackie by Erica Silverman and Holly Haddam. All right. My sister Jackie has the best giggle. When she stares at me with her big round eyes, my heart feels bubbly. Oh, baby Jackie, I whisper. When you get bigger, we'll play in my tent. We'll twirl like forest fairies and we'll be explorers together. Just love it. Jackie sleeps. Jackie eats. Uh, uh, what? She got all over her face. Looks like peas. Ooh, strange peas. Gross. Jackie burps and hiccups. Sometimes Mama lets me hold her. My sister giggles just for me. Jackie crawls everywhere. I say, let's be kitty cats. Meow. Meow, meow. Can you make your best kitty cat sounds? Meow. Yeah, that's what I thought, <laughs> right? Woof, 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 says Jackie. <laughs> I love that giggle. Every day we play peekaboo. Boo! 
Boo! Boo! Says Jackie. One day she says, Susu! Mama, Daddy, I shout. Jackie said my name. My name is really Susan, but now I like Susu too. Cool. That's a great name. That is a great name. Oh, I just love it. As soon as Jackie can walk, she runs. Don't fall, Jackie. Good thing she loves her dinosaur band-aids. I love dinosaur band-aids too. I mean, come on. Who, Who doesn't does? love a good dinosaur band-aid, right? My sister Jackie also loves mud. Mud puddles, mud pies, mud, 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 ick. I love mud. I don't like getting mud I, all I over me. No. Mud. Mud's so fun. Oh, come on, just a little on your nose? No? Okay. <laughs> Jackie, let's be forest fairies, I say, putting a ribbon in her hair. <coughs> Ew! She pulls them out. Never mind, we can be explorers then. Jackie puts on her cape. She wears that silly cape everywhere. Explorers don't wear capes, I tell her. So what? I can fly. I can buzz. I am super bug. She jumps off the bed and whooshes away. Oh, oh, I love putting on my cape too. Sounds like a great Can you adventure. tell why I love this book? <laughs> it's a great book. For Jackie's birthday, Mama buys her a dress. But Jackie throws it on the floor and cries. Hmm, Daddy says, rubbing his chin. Oh, I have a chin in there somewhere. <laughs> Someone does not like her new dress. That's okay, she can wear whatever she wants, says Mama. Jackie puts on Daddy's hat and puts on Daddy's vest and she rubs her chin and says, hmm, hmm. just like Daddy, I say, only smaller. Jackie giggles. <laughs> There's that famous giggle. Right? When we go shopping for clothes, Jackie runs to the boys' section. No, not there, Jackie, I shout. Over here. But Jackie picks out shorts and a shirt, a baseball cap, and a tie. No ties, I say, snatching it away. Jackie grabs it. Mine. But ties are for boys. We wear what we feel, right, says Mama. Remember? I agree. But it's wrong, I say. Not wrong, Susu, says Mama. Just different. Agreed. Jackie wears her baseball cap to the park. While I swing on the monkey pars, Jackie plays in the sandbox with the boy. Together they push the cars over the bumpy roads. Vroom, 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 vroom. vroom. vroom, vroom. Time to go, Daddy calls. Bye, Roy says Jackie, waving to her friend. Bye, Jack, calls the boy. Jack, I ask, but your name is... No! Jackie yells, then covers her ears. Cover your ears, stick your tongue out. No, at me. Look at that, look at that, see that? Isn't that great? It's great. We walk slowly. Daddy, Jackie, Mama, and me. Nobody says anything all the way home. Look at them all. Look at, look at. They're just. They don't look nobody, too happy. They don't right know what now. to say, I don't think. On haircut day, I go first. Not too much, Mama. I like it swingy. But Jackie says, more, more, more. So Mama cuts and cuts. Stop, Mama, stop, I shout. Now Jackie looks like a boy. Jackie says, I am a boy. Mama is quiet. Finally she says, well, Jackie's been trying to tell us that for a long time. Look at that. Kind of short like mine. Just almost, chop it all almost, off. Right? <laughs> Take it all off. It's just hair. Jackie turns and walks over to me with her big round eyes. Please call me Jack. But Jackie, you're my sister. No, Susu, I'm your brother. I don't want a brother, I shout. I want my sister back! And we both start to cry. 
It is so sad. Change. I hide in my tent. I'm hiccuping and my tummy hurts. But then I remember when Jackie was tiny and hiccuping, uh, hiccuping baby, and Mama would let me hold her. I pick up some crayons and two pieces of paper. I draw a picture of Jackie, and when I'm done, I draw a picture of Jack. You see them? Those are gorgeous pictures. I see a similarity in them. See, Jackie, uh, Jackie. Jack. Jack. The same big round eyes. My sister, my brother, it's okay either way. And little by little, my heart starts to feel bubbly again. Look at that. You can see it in okay, her face yeah. that her heart's bubbling. Oh yes. Love it. I open my tent flap and I peek out and I see two big round eyes staring back at me. Jack, I whisper, let's be super bugs together. You can wear your cape and your tie. And they do, look at that, that is great. Love it. Oh, my brother Jack has the best giggle. There's that giggle. Oh, I got goosebumps, this is such a good book. That's the end. <laughs> oh my gosh. I adore this book, if you can tell. I love this book to pieces. Thank you for joining me in that book, though, and my experience down Mary and Lane. And thank you for sharing oh. Jack, not Jackie, with us. Or Shane, not Shannon. Well, works too. <laughs> We're gonna sing a song now. Are you ready to join us? Yes. Let's get our fruit ready for a nice salad. Watermelon, watermelon, pineapple, pineapple, banana na na na, banana na na na, fruit salad, fruit salad. Oh, you really gotta mix that fruit salad up, eh? Turn it all up. Oh. Wow, that was awesome. What would drag be without a costume change? Let's do it! Alright, I think it's time for another story. Let's see what we've got here. Who Are You? The Kid's Guide to Gender Identity by Brooks Pesson Wedby. Love this book. Oh, who are you? The important thing to remember is that you are the one who knows you best. Look at my favorite color, rainbow. <gasps> when babies are born, people ask, is it a boy or a girl? Hmm. Babies can't talk, so grown-ups make these, make a guess by looking at their bodies. This is the sex assigned to you at birth, male or female. Sometimes people get this confused with gender, but gender is much more than the body you were born with. Absolutely. So much more. <laughs> As babies grow into kids, they start to know what they like and don't like. This is your personal expression. What you like, how you dress, and act. There are so many ways to express yourself. What you like can change as you grow up, or even from day to day. I quite often find that I change from day to day. I had blue hair yesterday. Right? Pink hair today, because that's what I like today. There you go. What do you like? We've got a whole bunch of toys on here, and looking at all these toys, I can see numerous ones that I like. I like the blocks. I like this wolf down here. Not that I can play with this wolf. It's probably a dog, but I'm going to go with wolf, because I like wolves. Oh, and there's a dinosaur. <gasps> see the dinosaur in there? There's a bunny back okay, here. Cool. I too love cool. too bunnies, cool. too. Oh, or is this something more up your alley? I'm very partial to these pants, this shirt here. I like this dress. I knew Beautiful you color. I knew you oh, would. It would look great. And you could put those on. Those would be great. Is there a bow tie? I also like wearing bow ties. Do you? I, I do. don't see a bow tie in here. You know what, though? We'll get you one. Oh, good. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Kids know a lot about themselves. They know who they are by how they feel inside. This is your identity. Who you feel like inside, 
who you know yourself to be. This can also change as you grow up or change from day to day. Your gender is just one part of your identity of what makes you you. Agreed. Kids are that. experts on themselves. Right? They know. They do. And you can see there's some girls up here climbing the trees and a boy. Or should I just say some dresses up in the tree? <laughs> I'm not really sure. This is just legs. There's a squirrel too. There's a squirrel in there as Follow well. The squirrel. Squirrel! Look at that! <laughs> okay. Back to the Back to <laughs> Some people say there are only two genders, but there are really many genders. You are who you say you are because you know you best. And see on here, I am a girl, a boy, both? Neither? Just, Just me. me. For some people, the grown-ups guess right about their body and their gender. This is called cisgender, when someone's identity matches their sex assigned at birth. Oh, I love me a good set of monkey bars. So much fun. Right? And for some people, there are more than just two choices. These are just a few words people use. Trans, genderqueer, non-binary, gender fluid, transgender, gender neutral, agender, neutrosis. I think I said that right. Did I say mm, that right? I think so. <laughs> Bigender, third gender, two-spirit, and there are even more words that people are using to describe their experience. This is called the gender spectrum. There are lots of ways to be a boy. There are lots of ways to be a girl. And there are lots of ways to be a kid. Be who you are. The end. Are you ready for a silly story? I am. This is one of my favorite silly stories. The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. Hmm, rather peculiar. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious. Except, here is how books work. Everything the words say the person reading the book has to say. Uh -oh. No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say... Blork! Wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf! Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book that I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Oh yeah. Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I am not a monkey. And now I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing? Uh, lug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. <laughs> what? <laughs> this book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it yet? No! There are more pages. I 
have to read the rest? Please. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. Who said butt? And also, the kids I'm reading this book to are the best kids in the entire world! Oh, really? Actually, that I can agree with. And the kids I'm reading this to are the smartest kids, too, because these kids chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids, they know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like... Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, here it comes. Glurgawacko! Magrumfadoo! Aye! 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 Brood! 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 Oomph! Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee